What's going on guys? So update 1.02 dropped today for a set of course of competition on PlayStation 4 and I wanted to tell you what that was. Okay, I, I couldn't find any details in the game, but I did go on uh, Twitter and then they posted this today. This is just two hours ago, really just happened. It says, a small hotfix launches today for PlayStation 4. This contains fixes to the livery editor, a career mode network issue, and a pop-up bug. Xbox users, stay tuned. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about this, this update that just dropped. Okay, so it just came out. I did see the update and I was like, oh man, I was kind of excited because I thought that maybe it was going to fix wheel compatibility. I thought maybe it was going to fix input lag. If you haven't seen my video on input lag, there's a major delay on some wheels. And I was hoping that maybe this would address it. This game has been out for over a week now. Um, turns out that this ends up being a livery editor bug. Now, I don't want this video to turn into being uh, you know, negative about Kuno's and, and what they're doing, but I do want to address serious issues that are going on right now because a lot of people probably aren't a part of this forum right here. And this is just something that I want to share with all of you guys that maybe just aren't aware. Uh, so the first per reply here that you see is, why don't you prioritize wheels? The game will remain unplayable till then. And then this guy says, thank you. What about force feedback? Uh, you need to improve that. So. For some of you that aren't aware, okay, and, and I wanna, I'm gonna say this again because I, I, I'm tired of people thinking that I don't like this game, and that is not true. I, I love this game. I really think a set of course of competition is a fantastic game. I love the physics in the game, but that doesn't mean that I can't tell you the truth about what's going on. We need to talk about reality, and the reality is that there are people that have purchased this game, that have spent the $40, that cannot play the game. It's literally unplayable for them, okay? And this is a prime example. So I was excited to see an update for a set of Corsa today, downloaded it, installed it, and the game is still absolutely unplayable with a T500 RS wheel. Uh, I have no idea what they have supposedly fixed, but I was nearly hoping, uh, but I was really hoping that they would address the fact that a lot of us have a game that doesn't just have bugs in it. We have a game that is unplayable. Definitely returning this for refund. Um, okay, I still have no idea how they release the game that is listed to be compatible with the T500S when it was clearly not tested with one. And I do agree with, uh, with Rob here that submitted this post. I do agree that it seems like the wheels were not tested properly because there's a lot of people on Xbox right now. You can do your own research on that. There's a lot of people on Xbox that cannot use wheels. Their wheels are not working. They have the same problems he is. And they literally just bought a game and they have to stare at it because their wheels just don't work. Um, it seems to me that, you know, on PlayStation 4, we have we have less problems. I think the T500 is the only one that doesn't work right now. Um, but there are there is input lag across the board with all the wheels, except the G29. The G29 seems to fare the best for um, input lag as far as the steering. But there's always some type of little problem that's going on, especially with the Fanatec. The Fanatec, I get, I get a major delay. And you could watch my video and see it for yourself. You're probably asking yourself with this post, does this guy have the latest firmware? Well, that that goes that that goes all in this forum. Someone's asking to check his firmware. Other people are sharing like, oh, I had to you know reduce my force feedback to twenty percent. Uh, he he comes back and says, my wheel has the latest firmware, and I've tried all the above, and it's just and it's still dreadful. I don't want to flap about it to try and make my <laughs> to try to make it the least crap it can be. It should just work like it does on GT Sport, Drive Club, Dirt Rally, etc. So he's saying that no other games have this issue. He has a really serious sim, sim setup and he doesn't want to compromise that to just start messing with the game and reducing the force, force feedback to get it to work. And I agree 100%. I don't think that anyone should have to you know, detune their wheel and do all these runarounds to make it work because the T500 is a very known wheel that works for all of the other, the, all the other racing games and it, it should just work out of the box. So the point of this video was to just kind of let you guys know what the update was that came out today. And if some of you are really excited and thinking that it's gonna be wheel compatibility or if it's gonna be an input lag fix, unfortunately it's not. Um, I am hoping that Kunos gets it together and puts out an update to fix wheel support because guys, I'm gonna be honest, like these people deserve um, refunds, you know, and, and let me know in the comments if you think that I'm right. Do you think that these people deserve refunds? I, I do. And I feel like as the days go on, this is starting to get worse and worse. And I want to fill you guys in on any information that I get. So any of you guys, if you have wheel problems, let me know. Watch my other video and then just submit your bugs because 
I'm really trying to make it known that there's serious issues like wheel compatibility and input lag. And when you when you release an update about a livery editor, I, I think that that's going to be a slap in the face for a lot of people that have, that have not been able to play this game. But anyway, guys, I hope you got something out of this video. I don't want to keep it long. I just want to keep you up to date. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.